Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we are going to disable NAT on our GWN series router or our GCC 6010 security or convergence appliance uh, by Grandstream. So if you have a GWN router, if you have a GCC series, you can bring in a um, a block of IP addresses from your provider on the LAN side of your device, as long as they're routing everything correctly. And we can disable NAT for that, so you can hand those IP addresses out directly. Uh, a lot of people want to do this on many different devices, so I'm going to show you how to do this on the Grandstream side. So whether you have a GCC device or a GWN router, what you're going to do, obviously, on the GWN router, you're only going to have the router section. You're not going to have all these other things. So this is what your screen's pretty much going to look like on a GWN router. If you're in the GCC series, you're going to have to go to the, uh, the networking icon right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to network settings. We're going to go to LAN. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new... VLAN. So we're going to bring it in on a VLAN, distribute it that way. We're going to click Add. We're just going to call this uh, VLAN 55, and we're going to call this My Public IPs. And then down here, we're going to turn on VLAN port IPv4 address, and we're going to say 12.150.16.1 with a 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. <coughs> And then right here, there's this option uh, to do IPv4 routed subnet. Once enabled, clients under the VLAN will be allowed to access the internet using their IP addresses. So what we're going to do is we would slide this on, and then it's going to ask for which interface uh, that we want, the WAN interface. And we're going to click Save. And now we have a live block of public IP addresses that we're either renting, uh, you know, leasing, renting, or that we own that's routed to us. And now devices can get out directly using those IP addresses. It's really, it's really pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you're doing this with your GWN routers, if you're doing it with other routers. Let me know what your experience is. Are you having problems with it? Uh, it's, it's really pretty simple. These vendors are making it very easy to do these things that, that just a few years ago you had to use a different piece of equipment to do. And, and so they've recognized the need for that. So I, I prefer, unless I'm you know handing out to another firewall, I will do NAT. I necessarily won't hand a device an IP address directly, but you can do that. So let me know down in the comments if you've got questions about this, if you want to see any other you know, NAT setup uh, or what you want to see in a NAT setup. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need someone to help you with this process or any other networking, security, storage needs, head on over to willyhow.com out the contact form that's right there on the front page and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible if you want to talk to the community about this besides in you know the youtube comments head on over to community.willyhow.com sign up and join the conversation once again i'm willie i want to thank you for being here and as always i'll see you in the next video